This is my brother. He died uh, February the 17th, 2008. He uh, was put in a hospital, had a stroke, went from nursing home to nursing home, laid in Jellicoe Nursing Home for almost three years. They were very few that came and seen him. I mean, he had all kinds of friends. Uh, at least we thought he did, but they were very few that came and seen him. I know that uh, there was a few, uh, very few family members that came a few times. But, I mean, you know who you are. But also, the ones that didn't come, y'all know who you are too. And if you couldn't make it for a reason, you know that too. So it shouldn't hurt your feelings. If you had a good reason you couldn't come, then you shouldn't be mad. I'm not doing this video to make anyone mad. I'm just saying I don't want my brother forgotten. Uh, there's a few now that even goes up and hunts on the land that he left for the small children. Uh, and uh, I don't think they even think nothing of him. I know that uh, when he was in the hospital, you know, you you couldn't get them to go see him. I think they may have want, went once once when he was in the nursing home or something, but no, that it just didn't happen. And I've tried every way to figure out what made him so bad that uh, no one wanted to go see him. Well, I, there's nothing. Nobody can tell you anything that uh, he's done that was so horrible that they, they didn't want to go see him. <laughs> you know, I mean, really, I don't know of anything. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Maybe he just had something about him people didn't like, but I always liked him, loved him, thought a lot of him, you know, still do. Uh, I know that uh, I miss him, and I know that uh, I miss my mom and dad, too. I know that they're dead. I can't bring them back. I can't bring him back. But to be in Jellico Nursing Home for three years, and let me just say this, I can count the people on my hands that came and visited him, and they did it very few times. Now, I tried to take the kids... Uh, Every chance I got to take them, I, we would take them to see their dad. And uh, I just don't understand it. And it does aggravate me. I keep it on my mind. It, it it eats at me. The reason I put it on here is some people go to therapy. Well, I don't go to therapy. I usually just let mine out, and I do it through a microphone video. That's just the way I am. I don't know. If you don't like it, you can just push the stop button. But uh, I'm going to... You'll see the comment. I tell you before you even start playing it, if you think it might hurt your feelings, then just don't, don't, don't push play. You don't have to watch it. I'm not bagging you to watch it. I'm putting it on my wall, and if you want to turn it on, you can. But Jim was my brother, and his kids. I have them now, and I love these kids very much. And, uh, I know some people say, "Well, the kids are better off with you guys." Well, that may be true in a certain to a certain extent, but nobody's better off without their parents. These kids don't have a, a mom and dad. They have me and my wife, and we treat them to the best that we can, but we're still not mom and dad. Uh, nothing can replace your mother and dad. It just can't happen. Nothing can replace your brothers and sisters. It just don't happen. Uh, maybe the situation, you know, where they were at, maybe it was better for them to be here, but... It's not better to lose your parents. That's just not how it works. So anyway, I just thought I'd share this with you. And I think that if Jim was alive, to a few he would say, listen, you know, you go up on the property that I owned, you hunt, you, you do your thing, and you don't even think about me. But you didn't do that when I was in the nursing home neither, so it's no surprise. I think that's what he would say if he could talk. So let's just remember that uh, he was a, a person, a human being, and he's part of me. I never will forget him, and I love him very much. And uh, I just thought I'd share that with y'all and uh, hope I didn't offend nobody. I'm not trying to offend nobody. I love everybody, and uh, especially his children. he got some great kids. He sure does. Ain't no doubt about it. And I love everybody and don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but... I do want to let y'all know that I love my brother very, very much, and that's why I'm sharing this video. Thank you for watching. That's just my two cents worth. This is my brother. He died uh, February the 17th, 2008. He uh, was put in a hospital, had a stroke, went from nursing home to nursing home, laid in Jellicoe Nursing